It's about teaching our Navy community about our Hawaii and our Hawaii cultural values and people. And it brings that Navy, I think, a little closer to Hawaii because of that. So, you know, this event today, um, working on our local fish pond, local pa'ayao, is so important to me because we bring um, our Navy sailors in and teach them about our history, our values, our culture. You know, today is Prince Kuhio Day. We're out here at Pa'ayao. Um, though the fish pond is dedicated to um, uh, the Queen, um, Kalani Nui'ia, um, who came well before Prince Kuhio. Um, the day being out here today in honor of Kuhio is significant because it was Kuhio's vision um, when he was a delegate at Congress to establish Pearl Harbor. And he fought for many, many years um, to receive funding to dredge Pearl Harbor and establish a naval base out here. Um, he went so far as to um, bring people, both senators, representatives, and their families to Hawaii. He hosted them at his house in uh, Waikiki and uh, took them to Pearl Harbor, took them to places that he felt were very important. He was fighting for funding for not only Pearl Harbor, but also for Halakala National Park and for uh, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And um, he finally was, a step, was able to establish um, funding for the Pearl Harbor and those other national parks. And at Pearl Harbor, Harbor Hickam, we have a, a Makahiki celebration. Um, and what that is, is we have games. We invite the Navy families to come, play games. And if they win, we have these um, feathered uh, statues that we kind of give them as, as prizes. And the, the feathered um, awards are actually made by one of our Civic Club members, Uncle Shad Connie. He's a featherwork, uh, featherwork um, master. So um, that's, that's one other event that is uh, really important where civic clubs and the Navy are, are partnering with one another to celebrate this traditional um, time of celebration called Makahiki. Um, but it, it, it just enforces the partnership. And then of course here at Pa'ayao is, is another one where we have this partnership with, with the Navy. So those two I can think of is Pa'ayao and the Makahiki. So originally there was 22 fish ponds surrounding Pearl Harbor and through the years, especially during the sugarcane era, those fish ponds were destroyed, filled in, uh, and just decayed. Uh, and now there's only three remaining around Pearl Harbor. And this is Lokopa Aya, which was one of the three remaining. And this was perfect because it's actually a little bit uh, easier to get to. The other fish ponds are more uh, d difficult to get to, getting access. Uh, this fish pond uh, is located at Magoo Point, and so we're able to get to this pond through the uh, Navy housing. Yeah, so uh, even the shipyard, there was three fish ponds there, and during the de uh, development of the base, they were just uh, filling in the fish ponds to create land. And so those are all gone now. And so part of our consultation, like with the uh, shipyard, uh, we're looking at putting resources into this fish pond to make up for the ones we lost. Hmm? Well, one thing that our prince did, uh, which is really remarkable, he was the delegate to Congress from Hawaii at a time when we didn't have a vote. We were not a state then. And so he couldn't really help bring anything home using votes, you know, being able to trade a vote for another vote. And he said, he thought, well, what can I do to bring the resources to Hawaii, which we really needed at that time. And he just used his princely diplomatic skills and all of his personal resources to encourage them to come out to Hawaii and visit. And he actually brought, I think, over 30 congressional members with him at a time when to get to Hawaii, it took taking a train from Washington, D.C. to Chicago and transferring to the coast and then taking a, a boat. Uh, and coming across the ocean to get here, it took weeks. But he did that because he really felt strongly that we needed the help of the government to take care of us. He was really focused a lot on the harbors and improving our harbors so that we could develop them. And Pearl Harbor was actually the very first harbor to have been developed with Prince Kuhio's guidance. It took him a, over a decade to encourage that. 
and it was just through friendship and diplomacy that he was able to bring home the resources that were needed to build the first dry dock and to build Pearl Harbor. We're really grateful to the Navy for identifying Rokoria Payao as a historic site and an important natural resource site. It is the last remaining fish pond that the community is able to access out of what was over 20 fish ponds. It's the last royal fish pond because it was created by our Mo'iwahine, Kalani Manuia. And so once it's gone, uh, a whole way of living is extinct in this space. And it benefits the community and the military to work together to heal the land, heal the waters, have the birds and the fish return, and the native plants, and also to heal ourselves individually, each other, from all the anxieties and stress of our daily lives and our, our, own, our own reciprocal relationships between the community and the military. We need that so much. We need to heal, and we need to heal together because this is an island. Right? We cannot run away from each other. We're here, and doing this kind of work together changes our perspective of each other. We get to understand who we really are and that we actually have a lot in common. And we become friends. And some of us, we even say we're ohana. And we have many like that too. So it's, it, there's no better way to become friends and to live in peace and harmony than to work together to care for the Aina.